Florida's Governor DeSantis has now signed the bill that allows discrimination in health care. Governor Ron DeSantis held a press conference this week in Destin. During the conference, the governor signed multiple pieces of legislation into law. One of the bills signed by the governor was Senate Bill 1580, which is what DeSantis is calling the Physician's Freedom of Speech Law. The Human Rights Campaign, the HRC, has condemned Governor DeSantis for signing SB 1580 for calling it a license to discriminate in health care bill. This bill will allow health care providers and insurers to deny a patient's care based on religious, moral, and ethical beliefs. It creates a license to discriminate by allowing health care employers to discriminate in hiring, and it bars medical boards from disciplining doctors for spreading misinformation. In addition, SB 1580 was a whistleblower protection for health care providers and health care payers that take certain actions or disclose certain information relating to the reporting of certain violations. The governor also said SB 1580 prohibits boards or the Department of Health if there is no board from taking disciplinary action against or denying a license to an individual based solely on specified conduct, etc. Opponents of the law say this allows the denial of health care to transgender community, acting at the behest of the administration of Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, the Florida Board of Medicine, and the Board of Osteopathic Medicine also adopted this politically motivated bill. Arguably one of the most shocking anti-science moments <laughs> that I can remember in my lifetime, because agree or disagree what you think about trans or don't think about trans or any other related issue. They all fall into place, but they fall into place after the significance of this bill. Because what this bill does is basically say, scientifically, we're going to reject the science, we're going to embrace the discrimination decision-making, and we're not going to give any state protection to those that reject science or are medically ignorant. That's what this bill does. Now, people will get involved in the nuances of the arguments of the bill, but broadly, this allows you to discriminate, to reject science, uh, to have boards prevented from, oh, to discipline their members of their professional society and create whistle blowers. Um, in, in, I hate the comparisons to 1939, but it was one of the tactics that, that the Nazi party did. Be on the corner and report all of your neighbors in that building. And that's how we'll get the Jews. We'll find out they're in that building and that's how we'll get them uh, out of the building. This is one of the most shocking anti-scientific science embracing things that I have seen in my lifetime, frankly. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I, I come back to the fact that they are always denying facts, denying science, right. denying every bit of information that's out there. I mean, imagine, um, you know, somebody who's now afraid to go get medical care because a doctor may, um, you know, may deny them or they go for needed necessary emergency medical care and a doctor does deny them. Um, it's, it's, it's a really scary place when you're talking and politics is one thing. Somebody's health, their life right. is different. Access to healthcare is already so slippery mm -hmm. in this country. So putting this kind of bill or law on the forefront of accessibility to medicine and being able to be treated for any illness is just, it blows my mind truthfully because this you're like you said it's the elimination of science like we're just going based on now uh, what i feel and the one person that i think to to you know turn to in a moment of of truth is a scientist is a doctor right so to have a doctor tell you that no i'm going to deny you you know medical care because of what xyz reason being queer um it's it's baffling it's already difficult to navigate the system mm -hmm. so adding these laws would just make it even less accessible for people. And Now, I wasn't born in the 80s because I'm far too young. But for those who were, um, does this feel... Was that a shady read? I think so. I think that was a shade. <laughs> have a drag queen on the show. Be ready. All the rest of us um, old. The AIDS crisis in the 80s, does, is there 
any feelings that relate to that because we're being denied because of who we are. It, this this law, um, to your question, uh, would have been unthinkable in the mm -hmm. 80s and 90s. It's right. impossible. There is, there were, uh, it's, this law was impossible in the 80s and 90s. And the reason is even the most radical of the most radical wouldn't suggest, wait, because you have an ethical uh, belief, I'm not, uh, to, uh, I, I'm not, get out of my, get out of my hospital or get out of my clinic. It was just impossible. Yeah. That's like the exact opposite of what medicine should be, right? Like yeah, medicine I, should be, they, take it no no harm. they, they literally no take harm. a Hippocratic yeah. oath yeah. To, yeah, exactly. to protect and serve everyone medicinally. And this is like taking away that Hippocratic you, oath. You know, one one additional point, um, you know, I understand that there's a lot of people that would pl applaud this and they yeah. support uh, the president or the vice, the governor's actions. Ooh, I'm getting too Ooh, far ahead of myself. No, do, do. <laughs> At the end of the day, um, could you imagine? Um, uh, I, I continue to use insidious mm -hmm. uh, in in terms of the decision making that we're watching. Very successful, mm -hmm. successfully, but insidious. Can you imagine the insidious nature if this thinking process became president of the United States? Right. In all seriousness, if you're willing to reject science to this level based on the whim of, I have an ethical feeling that today uh, the wind is blowing to the west versus the right, so therefore I'm going to deny your medical care. And that is protected with whistleblowers and boards from preventing any kind of um, admonition uh, of the doctor, etc., and so on, and that becomes the president of the United States thinking. Mm -hmm. We're going to take a turn in America unlike we've ever seen right. before. Yeah. I, I mean, I think the business case here is that we, as constituents and people who have health care and benefits, need to lean into our medical providers and start saying things like, you know, if you're going to a doctor and, you know, Aetna or United Healthcare is covering your, uh, covering this doctor, and this doctor isn't actually giving the medical care that the medical profession is putting out there, then they should no longer be an approved doctor for plans. And, and we need to get the business community, which is what's happening in North Carolina, which which is happening you know, in many states across the country is we need the business community to come in and say, this isn't gonna be good for our employees, for our students, for our residents, you know, for whoever is our constituency in the state. Right. And that's what we need to fight back on this. We are Queer News Tonight, the world's first and only live daily LGBTQ plus evening news show from Happening Out Television Network. In the model of PBS and NPR, we educate, inform, and entertain by supporting the 10 pillars of the LGBTQ plus community. With more than 100,000 a week watching on Roku, Apple Television, and other channels. To keep the stories going, we accept donations with 100% transparency. Stay updated and live authentically with Queer News Tonight.